Our scripture reading for this week comes from an illustrated Bible, I Wonder, exploring God's grand story, written by Glennis Nellist and illustrated by Alessandra Fusi. I wonder about the birth of Jesus. From Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 57, and chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. Listen now for God's word to us. The angel Gabriel quietly opened the gates of heaven and flew, like a feather, down to earth. He had a special message to deliver to a young girl named Mary, who lived in Nazareth. Mary was sitting by the fire, thinking about God, when the whole room was flooded with light and Gabriel softly whispered her name. Mary, God is with you. Mary fell in fright to the floor and gazed up at the silvery wings fluttering in the firelight. She had never seen or heard an angel before. Don't be afraid, Gabriel said. You have been chosen for something wonderful. You will be the mama of God's son. You must name your little one Jesus. He will grow up to be king of the whole world couldn't believe what she was hearing. Could it really be true? I, I don't understand, she said. I'm not even married yet, and I'm so young. Don't worry, Mary, the angel said softly. God can do anything. Even your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby. And everyone said she was too old. But nothing is impossible with God. What? Elizabeth was going to have a baby too? Mary could hardly believe it. But if it was true, how wonderful that would be. Mary smiled at the angel. I'm God's servant, she whispered. And no matter what happens, I'll always be God's servant. Early the next morning, Mary jumped out of bed and set out for the little village on the hill where Elizabeth and Zachariah lived. She would soon find out from Elizabeth if what the angel said was true. Hurrying to the door, she knocked. She heard Elizabeth's footsteps. As soon as Elizabeth saw Mary, she put her hand on her own tummy and cried out in surprise. Mary, the baby inside me just jumped for joy. You're going to have a baby too. I just know it. How blessed you are. Mary gasped in amazement. So it was all true. God's Holy Spirit danced as Mary hugged Elizabeth and sang for joy. Oh, how my heart rejoices. Oh, hear my spirit song for I will have a little boy and he will be a king. I'll sing praise to my savior, the holy mighty one. And one day all the earth will know this great thing God has done. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months, and every day they marveled at what the angel had told them and wondered what their special sons would be like. When Elizabeth's boy was born, he was named John, and a few months later it was Mary's turn to welcome her special son into the world. Mary and Joseph had to take the long journey to Bethlehem to be registered there, but it was late when they arrived, and every single inn was full. The only place left for them was a small stable full of animals, but at least it was warm. Mary lay down in the soft hay as Joseph covered her with a blanket. Outside the little stable, the whole town of Bethlehem was asleep under the stars. For all the people curled up warmly in their beds, it was just an ordinary night. For all the animals snoozing quietly in the stable, it was just an ordinary night. But Mary and Joseph were awake. For them this night was anything but ordinary. It was the night they welcomed God's own son into the world. Star shines down, stable small. Mary's boy born for all. Shepherds wake, angels sing. Wise men ready gifts to bring. Joseph smiles, Jesus sleeps, cows into the manger peep. Stars shines down, stable small, Mary's boy, born for all. Mary cuddled her newborn baby as he slept, as she listened to his soft baby breaths. 
She gazed up into the deep blue sky spread like a velvet blanket outside her window. If stars could sing, they were singing now. Welcome, special one, they seemed to say. Mary thought about everything that had happened. Would her little boy really grow up to be a king? Mary didn't know the answer, but as she looked at her boy as he lay fast asleep, she knew one thing for sure. If it was true, then this tiny treasure lying in her arms wasn't just God's gift to her. Jesus was God's gift to the whole world, and nothing about that was ordinary. I wonder what Angel Gabriel looks like. I wonder if there are still angels in the world. I wonder what it would have been like to be in the stable that night. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.